Welcome to my course on PLC programming. In the last video, I gave you the overview of the various modules that I will be covering in this course. The very first was the say, Step 7 software that we used to program PLCs. So the Semantics Step 7 is the software for programming Simmons PLCs and it can be downloaded uh, online. So once you download it, then after installation you will have this semantic manager ide just like i have installed and i have this ide integrated development environment for the utilization of various modules of step 7. well step 7 is the software to program plcs configure plcs the hardware configuration and the network configuration of uh, plcs and semantic manager manages all these resources it is the environment the uh, programming environment so i will click on the semantic manager after i have opened this i will create a new project and i will name it as hello world after the after this i'm going to insert a new plc well this step 7 supports semantic s7400 plc s7300 plc and a number of uh, hmis so if you i assume you are aware of uh, the plc in production i assume you know about what plc is if you are not aware of it well i'm giving a link of the video introduction to plc in the description you can watch it anyways i will insert an s7300 plc station since i am using this plc for my project once i get to that now it is asking for the hardware the plc hardware well the step 7 software has modules for plc programming it has its own section for writing a plc program or plc code also it has a section for the hardware configuration of the plc because the actual plc that you are going to install in the panel well those components has to be configured in the hardware configuration section of this plc right and it also has a module the step 7 also has a module for the networking of plcs because this plc has to be networked for example if in any case it has to be networked with another plc or with an hmi station well all those options are available in the module that has the configuration and uh, the network configuration of uh, the plcs so basically there are three components in the steps one is for programming plc in, in, in which you actually write the code of the plc program another section is for the hardware configuration in which you enter all the modules that has been associated with that specific plc project and you also has the module for the network configuration of the plc so i'm going to show it right now well, after I have named it as the Hello World, then I will go to the hardware configuration section of the Semantic Manager. Well, since it is open now, I will come to the catalog. This catalog has all the modules of uh, the respective PLC. So I will go to the Semantic S7300. Well, here I have a rack and uh, i will drag it to the, this area in a traditional plc setup uh, in this case since it is the s7300 plc well there would be a power supply module for example in this case i have power supply module 307 and that has the uh, load capacity of 10 ampere after the power supply module i will be 
having the PLC CPU and in this case I am going to drag 3152 DP and this specific module. Well a window pops up that is asking me to whether connect this PLC in any sort of network. Well in this case I am going to connect it to a coffee bus network. The specifics and details of uh, this network configuration, that, that is the Profibus in this case, well, I will discuss it later sometime. Now, you just assume that it is a network uh, configuration, one type of network configuration that happens through Profibus cable. Okay, I am linking it to a network that is uh, being connected to this PLC CPU, Profibus. Now, for example, I'm going to insert a digital input, a digital output module in this case, to make it very simple. So I will drag these modules from the catalog to the rake, or the system modules SM300. Digital input, well, I will look for a card that is 16, it has 16 channels, each of 24 volt. A digital output module. Well, I'll drag this one into my rake. DO8 uh, relay. It means this digital output module has eight channels. Each is of a uh, type relay. That is most probably it is 220 volt AC. So this is the simple rake that I have configured. Well, this rack has a power supply, a CPU, and uh, the CPU has a DP port for Vibus DP connectivity, and a digital input channel, a digital output channel. So I will sell these configurations. Uh, this uh, software, uh, the Sematic Manager, hardware configuration, this uh, component of the Step 7, has the ability to configure the hardware configurations of the PLC. Over here, you can see configure network. Well, if you click on this, well, the network configuration settings will be here in this video, right? In this case, uh, if I'm going to connect any uh, module or any other PLC to the Sematic S7300, through Profibus, well, I will have to make the settings over here. And for now, I'm going to make it uh, very simple. So I'm not including another module, but uh, just to tell you guys that if you want to have configuration, any sort of network configuration, then you have to make the settings over here, right? So this component of the Sematic Manager is for the network configuration of PLCs and various modules. If this PLC has to be connected with any HMI station, well, that would be connected over here. So this is the hardware configuration. That was the network configuration. Now, once I enter the PLC CPU modules, and digital input and digital output in the rake of the 7300 PLC CPU. Well, now this section is now about the programming section, right? This S7 program has blocks, sources, and if possible, there might be some charts in this S7 program section. So uh, right now I'm not uh, going into the programming because I have to explain some concepts before diving into the actual programming. So just to tell you guys that OB1, the organization block one, is the block in which I have to write the PLC program in a number of languages, just like letter logic, STL, and FPD. Right, these are the standard PLC programming languages. So, before starting the actual programming, I will stop here and I will explain in the next videos about the 
organization blocks, the various sort of blocks that are associated with PLCs, because there are a number of blocks such as organization block, function block, function call, and various interrupts. So those has to be explained in order to better understand the actual PLC programming. So I will be explaining the organization block in the next video. So bye for now and see you in the next video.